There are many different ethnic restaurants at the University of Illinois. The one I wanted to focus on was Indian. So I went to First and White to visit Bombay Indian Grill. Welcome to Mumbai. Good evening. How are you today? I came in, observed my immediate surroundings, and awaited my interview with Mr. Krishna, the owner of Bombay Indian Grill. Bombay Indian Grill was opened in 2003 and uh, we had a very small capacity of 40 on campus. There was a demand for a fine dining restaurant in town. You know, we provided a good uh, Indian taste uh, food to our customers here. Some of the Indian restaurants, they like to Americanize their food, so taste has been changed, but our recipes are still the same as my father taught me. So is there one dish that you feel especially connected to? Yes, I do. Dal makhani was my favorite when my father used to bring that when I was a younger kid. I never had my lunch or dinner. Just wait for him to get home and eat it all. What is this dish? This dal makhani is lentils cooked with a tomato sauce and some butter. It's still my favorite. I, if you are watching this video, come down and try that. I guarantee you will love it like I did. <laughs> How do you think this restaurant helps uphold an aspect of your culture? Uh, very much, very much, because of uh, the food. Uh, everyone's like to try a different kind of food and has a very unique taste into it. So once they come in, uh, the music, the food, uh, the culture that we uh, provide to uh, give them a feeling to stay out in India. So it's, it's my honor to present that I'm giving uh, some good Indian food to uh, people who live in Champaign, Illinois. The owner was gracious enough to let me into his kitchen. I waited here to be shown in. It was early, but the chefs were already hard at work. Meanwhile, Mr. Krishna was setting up a little presentation. This is called tandoor. The tandoor is where we bake our kebabs, the chicken kebabs, the lamb kebabs, and make our breads here. And uh, most of the Indian restaurants use their gas tandoor nowadays, and gas tandoor is easy to maintain, but it doesn't give the same flavor as we have in India. So the reason our naans, the breads, and the kebabs are very tasteful because of the charcoal. It's a very unique, and one of my uh, employees is going to show you how to make it, uh, the bread. That's how we make our bread, and it's very fresh, it's very unique, very tasty. The final result, given to me as a gift, free of charge. After exploring the main restaurant, I left to go find the Bombay on Green Street. I went inside and met the manager there. His name was Bobby. He was extremely humble and preferred that the customers get most of the camera time. And of all the customers, I did not see one that was not happy. If the customers don't come back to see the manager's smiling face, or hang out in the welcoming atmosphere at Bombay, they come back for the food, and the traditional recipe provided by Mr. Krishna. They come back for the chicken makani, the lamb and ginger curry, the spinach with cheese, the alu gobi, the chana masala, and the basmati rice, one of the best rices in the world. And of course, the tandoori chicken cooked in Bombay's unique tandoori charcoal oven. Enjoy uh, serving people, enjoy uh, giving them a real taste of India. Thank you very much.